Slightly different one today. Testing myself a bit. I usually walk up these mountains with a heavy pack, but today I'm just seeing if I can kind of blend a bit of trail running and photography. See if it's possible. I've still got a tripod, one camera, one lens, and food, water. But it's a really light pack. I'm just seeing if I can uh, try and balance having a run and get a nice view at the top. Right, so Scotland is quite intense. We did about five Munros in total 60 kilometres hiking. I think I managed to do about 4,700 metres of ascent. So it wasn't the most relaxing of, uh, of times away. And I've had quite a few lazy days recently, so I thought I'll intertwine a bit of a jog and photography. Quite a good blend. I'm not running the whole thing, so that'll be a killer. But I'll run the bits I can run and hopefully get up there for a nice sunset. I tell you what, this is difficult. I've had more breaks than Ronnie O'Sullivan. Break every two minutes and breaking here, but uh, yeah, really had heads up to these trail runners. Cause it is bloody hard. It's enjoyable though. I'm uh, running a bit less now. The gradient's got a bit steeper, so more fast walking. Scrap that, it's bloody slow walking. <laughs> but yeah, about halfway up. And I think we're going to get a nice sunset. Mole Shabbat is a beautiful mountain. And you've got great views over to North Snowdonia from there. So uh, it should be pretty good. been photographing a few sheep just standing out nicely against the sky it's getting a bit more bouldery now so I'm gonna take the time up this bit and then maybe run run a bit on the ridge line as well you don't want to trip over on the ridge line though it could be game over uh, but it isn't about getting up mole shabbard in record speed no it's just more about enjoying the run and uh, hopefully enjoying some good photography so yeah I've got up here in good time, but probably another 25 minutes to go. And I'll be up here well before sun. Well before sunset. If I was walking, it'd probably be a bit more of a, uh, a rush and I'd uh, have limited time, but I'm making it up in, a, in good time. But the sea is way too deep. Yeah, it's deep.
nearly at the top. It's pretty enjoyable. Thought I'd uh, bring you along with me to the top here. So just under an hour, but with all the B-rolling and stopping, it's probably took longer with that. But I've just reached the summit of Mo Shabod. Here's a trick point. That's the ridge I came up. And then looking over to Snowden and the Glidders. The sun's gonna dip into that penny pass. But yeah. I always do that. Right close up, but yeah, really enjoyed that. Gonna flip my attention from the running to the photography, but could have got up here in good time. Just gonna chill out for a bit. Yeah. Sometimes it's good just to run. Rather than your mentality's better as well. When you're walking up, you think, oh, this is a right slog. But if you jog, you just go for it and it's uh, you've got a mentality switch. So that's uh, enjoyable. Very peaceful tonight. Not a breath of wind as well. And it's only me and a sheep uh, on here, which is amazing. Uh, I think it was about two hours till sunset. So, as I said, I probably got up here too fast. Maybe it was better to do a bit of a slog and get up here so you're not waiting. But to be fair, when it's this still and this warm and the views are this good, you've got to make the most of it. Uh, guarantee though, I'm going to stiffen right up and going down is going to be a nightmare. I'm definitely not running, running down. <laughs> I'll go down and uh, take my time. Yeah, just going to enjoy the views for a bit. Was it best to take a photograph then? Considering I'm uh, combining the running with the uh, photography. Just found a nice shot here and the, the sunlight's coming through the high cloud. So it's lighting up this uh, fence, these fence poles, and they're leading the eye straight down into Nanquinance, where you've got uh, Adan, Ikhluev, and Molhibog range, and Nansla Ridge is just behind that. Speaking of that, that's probably my favourite ridge. Stunning walk that one is. But yeah, just took, took a picture now and it's uh, it's looking quite nice. Quite hazy light coming through, but it's given the, uh, the picture quite a lot of depth. So yeah, I'll stick that one up now for you. the amazing views you get a bit up here. I'm also trying to make uh, advantage 
of the shapes and the jagged rocks that lie on the summits of Moshabod. And you can get some really interesting stuff. The light at the moment is really nice on them and there's some wispy clouds above them. So I'm just going to take a few images handheld just because you don't always need to use a tripod. I might not be in shot but you can still hear me. But the light on these uh, pinnacles are really nice. Get the focus right. Yeah, so I'll show you some images I've just took. Uh, with all the all the light hitting the the jagged jagged uh, rocks, and yeah, enjoy them. Just found another shot. This is pretty cool, actually. I was speaking about those jagged rocks before I've come around the other side and they're getting some really nice light on them at the moment and the background is, is really dark sorry about that <laughs> but the background is really dark as you've got a deep valley below but these rocks are having some uh, really nice lights on them in the background you've got uh, Kinnick I think I think it's Kinnick over in the corner and no that is Moldhebog uh, but it looks really, really beautiful. And again, I'll show you that image now. I hope you like. I think someone else wants a word here. pretty interesting enjoyed the uh, the run-up and the photography as well so I've managed to combine the, the two you need a really lightweight pack and good uh, good running running uh, shoes that are capable in the mountains in order to do it so you've really got to travel light I had a 24 to 70 f4 Canon lens and it's a really light lens and it just it has enough enough uh, zoom in it to reach uh, certain shots too but yeah it's been a good good uh, good run I'm not gonna run down save my knee the light's kind of fading, we've got nice wispy clouds, but they're a bit too contrasty for anything to uh, to photograph. So I'm going to head down now. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, why not like, comment and subscribe. If you've ever run up a mountain to take a picture, they don't usually go hand in hand, but yeah, I thought I'd try it today. And I've enjoyed it, so until next time, I'll see you again. <laughs> Thank you.